Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. This is one of our In the System videos, and this one's featuring the Florida Everblades. Mm. This is my buddy Chris, Yo. and my buddy Matt, mm. and let's uh, not forget our buddies over there at the wonderful yeah. place in the world that is Hockey Locker. 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Milwaukee's number one stop shop for all your hockey needs. Got your masks, got your helmets, got your pads. Got your gloves, got your skates, got everything over there. Yeah, you can get your retro jerseys, you can get referee gear, you can get your figure skating uh, blade sharpened. Uh, roller they also blades. have figure skates. Mm -hmm. You can get your uh, skate sharpened, you can get jersey customizations. Uh, you can visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com if you're looking for info, or you can call them at 414-875-85. Or you can visit their store located. I already said it when I opened the commercial. But it's oh. twice <laughs> as good. Okay. okay, well, they're located at 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right across the street from Wilson Park. If you don't know where Wilson Park is, when you drive past, there's like a little store here, and then there's Wilson Park across the street, and then there's a Clark gas station. So yeah. it's kind of hard to, not hard to miss. <laughs> also, if you haven't been there, if, if you haven't been there and you're an Admirals fan, you're missing out. Yeah, they have Admirals jerseys. Mm-hmm. All so, right. So, as we were talking... Let's head on down to the swamp and let's talk about some Everblades. All right, so let's talk about the Everblades. Their leading point getter is... No Matt? longer with the team. No longer with the team, but we'll give his numbers anyway. Uh, it was Blake Winecki. He had 56 games played, 24 goals, 25 assists, or 26 assists, excuse me. Uh, team points were at 50 and a uh, plus minus of 27. Zach Magwood comes in second with 51 games played, 19 goals, 28 assists, 47 points, and a plus 22. Number three is Justin, Justin Auger with 54 games played, 24 games, or goals, excuse me, 18 assists, 42 team points, and 22 as well, a plus 22. Uh, next up is John McCarron, no longer with them. Uh, it was 46 games played, 12 goals, 28 assists, 40 team points and a plus 15. And at fifth is Logan Rowe with 45 games played, 12 goals, 26 assists, 38 team points, and a plus 36. All right, up next we have Michael Huntebreaker who has 37 games played, 14 goals, 21 assists, and 35 total points. It was a plus 17. Then we have Hunter Garlett with 48 games played, 13 goals, 20 assists, for 33 points with a plus 22. Cam McLeese is no longer with the team, but I'll give his stats anyways. He is now with the Chicago Wolves. Uh, he has 47 games played, 10 goals, 20 assists, 30 points, and a plus 25. Then we have Leifko Koper, who has uh, 37 games played, 7 goals, 22 assists, 29 points, and a plus 16. Then we have Ben Masala. He has a... Uh, 45 games played, 2 goals, 25 assists for 27 points and a plus 30. Go ahead. Yeah, we have Joe Pendenza, oh, no. 30 games oh, yeah. played with uh, 12 goals, 14 assists, and a plus minus of ne plus 19. Then we have Hugo Wah, 50 games played, 14 goals, 11 assists, and a plus minus of the plus 11. Do we have Patrick McCarron, 53 games played, 3 goals, 17 assists, with a plus minus of plus 25. Then we have Brandon Fortunato, we have 42 games played, 2 goals, 17 assists, with a plus minus of minus 1. And then we have uh, Michael Neville, 27 games played, 5 goals, 9 assists, with a plus minus of plus 15. You're up. Alright, uh, next at 16 we have Lucas Craggs at... 12 games played, 6 goals, 5 assists, 11 team points, and a plus 8. Next is Michael Downing with 24 games played, 3 goals, 7 assists, 10 team points, and a plus 24. Uh, Cody Saul with 22 games played, 5 goals, 3 assists, 18 points, and a plus 2. And then we have Arvin Atwell with 23 games played, 4 goals, 4 assists, 18 points, and... A plus 13. Follow that 100 up. penalty minutes. Aye, aye, aye. Why wow. He, he's up in Milwaukee now. Hey. Yeah. Right. Good job, uh, Atwell. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were right at the top. 
Uh, Next up. And at uh, number 20, we have Adam Smith with 38 games played, two goals, six assists, 18 points, and a plus 22. All right. So then we have Tanner Janot with three games played, four goals, one assist for five points with a plus three. And then we have Alex Tung with uh, 13 games played, two goals, three assists for five points with a plus five. Then we have Jeremy Denner, Denner with uh, 10 games played, one goal, four assists for five points with a plus two. Oh, good boy. Good God. We have uh, Nicholas Schaus. Schaus. Schaus Schaus with 12 games played, five five assists for five points and a plus four. Then we have Jack Nevins with 16 games played, two goals, two assists, four points and a plus one. 45 penalty minutes. Well, good God, Kyle Newborn. <laughs> Let's stay tuned. Wow. All right. So we have Derek Shepard. Three games played, three assists, and a zero plus minus. Then we have Kyle Newbar. Wow. Newbar. Oh, boy. Yeah. He has 33 games played, two goals, and 137 penalty minutes. <laughs> For a negative one. I want Holy one penalty minutes. I All right, then we have defenseman Aaron Harstad, 14 games played, one goal, one assist, two points, and a minus one. Then we have Greg Campbell, two games played, no points, no plus minus, two penalty minutes. Then we have Jacob Graves, three games played, no goals, no assists, no points, two penalty, or four penalty minutes, and a minus one. <sighs> All right, Blake Winnicki is now, just to give them an update yeah. of where people are. Like in Winnicky was signed today on a professional trial contract with the, the Charlotte, Checkers. Charlotte Checkers. Then we have John McCarron, who is with the Stockton Heat. And we have Cam McClays, who is with the Chicago Wolves. Sorry. All right. Goaltending. Oh. Can I read them off? Um, first off, this one no longer applicable. That no one. applicable. Well, Who is he with now? Do we remember? Um, he is now with the Hartford Wolf Pack. All right, so with the Rangers. Yay. So that one's not applicable at all. All right, so we have uh, Cam Johnson, 17 games played with a 2.55 GAA. And we have a uh, .916 save percentage. Do we have uh, Ken Appleby? Uh, 40 games played, <laughs> 2.49 goals against average with a .908 save percentage. Then we have Sean Romeo, two games played, on a 7.28 goals against average with a .750 save percentage. Yeah. That hurts. It yeah, hurts. it does. Hey, I got my hurts joke in. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, Chris Neal and Ben Myers, uh, no games played, so there's nothing for them, but they're the final two on the back end of that little goalie rotation. And up the pipe we go. Yeah. All right, so... Uh, Where are we going, Dan? Uh, We're on the road to the Brew City, the Cream City, the land of Harley Davidson. We're going over there to Hockey Locker. Going over to Hockey Locker. Yeah, we'll stop there before we head to the Admirals. You got We're it. Oh, right but we only only logo we have for the Admirals is that one. Oh, currently. <laughs> Uh, hey, well, wait, wait, wait. He does have it. But where did he put it? <laughs> yeah, that's the real kicker there. Where is it? Spend money at Hockey Locker. They'd like it. And subscribe to us on YouTube. It would be much appreciated. Oh, dear. This is horrible. <laughs> well, it's a good placeholder for now. <laughs> yep. It's still an Admiral logo. Account. There you go. Voila! Hey, you got it. <sighs> All that what? fanfare. Wow. See, rowing. Yeah, no, going for it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, next up on the docket, we got the Milwaukee Admirals. Yes. Who wants to start this one? Ooh, uh, can I, I start? Oh. And it'll oh, go you guys have to <laughs> Rochambeau for it. <laughs> Rochambeau for it. Hey, how about me, him, and then you, Dan? Work that out works for me. I gotta get, I'm able to get something to drink. <laughs> All right. The leading scorer is uh, Daniel Carr. 44 games played, 21 goals, 24 assists. He has uh, 18 penalty minutes and a plus minus of plus 16. Or, uh, yeah, plus 16. Mm -hmm. Then we have Cole Schneider, 47 games played, 15 goals, 26 assists, 
Uh, nine penalty minutes for a plus minus of plus 22. Do we have Alexander Carrier, 49 games played, five goals, 32 assists for uh, 36 penalty minutes and a plus 17. Do we have Tommy Novak, uh, 53 games played, 10 goals, 26 assists, uh, 12 penalty minutes and a plus minus of plus 14. Do we got Rem Pitlick, 56 games played, 19 goals, 15 assists, uh, 36 penalty minutes and a plus seven. Put um, her away. Have at it. And at number six, we have Yakov Trenin with 29 games played, 19 goals, 14 assists, 30, 33 team points, and a plus 15. Followed by Ellie Tobinen with 56 games played, 16 goals, 12 assists, 28 team points, and a plus two. Next is Frederick Boudreau with 35 games played, 10 goals, 16 assists, 26 team points, and a plus one. Matt Donovan with 55 games played, 4 goals, 21 assists, 25 team points, and a plus 12. With Colin Blackwell with 26 games played, 6 goals, 17 assists, 23 team points, and a plus 14. And I hate you both, because i got to say his name. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got Jeremy Davies with 55 games played, 4 goals, and 19 assists for 23 points, and a plus 22. Hmm. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be as mad at him as I am. <laughs> yeah, Unbridled yeah. hate is not here anymore. Next up. All right, and then we have Anthony Richard, who's kind of gone through a dry spell this year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he has 53 games played, 13 goals, 8 assists for 21 points, and a plus 3. Then we have Frederick Gillard for 54 games, 2 goals, 17 assists for 19 points, and a plus 19. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It is what it is. Then we have Matthew Olivier, 49 games played, 9 goals, 9 assists for 18 points for a guy with 80 penalty minutes. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for And a plus 7. And then we got Tanner Janot, five, 50 games played, 5 goals, 12 assists for 17 points and 69 penalty minutes with Hilarious. a plus 2. Um, no longer with the team, Laurent Dauphin. He's played in tw 33 games for the Admirals. Uh, he had seven goals, nine assists for 16 points, and a plus eight. Um, by the way, with uh, Laval, he has a minus seven. Oh, ouch. Um, then we have Mika Salamaki, no longer with the team. He has uh, 41 games played, five goals, 10 assists, 15 points, plus 16. Then we have Josh Wilkins. He has a 52 games played, three goals, 11 assists, 14 points. And a minus four, Steven Zantini, with uh, 53 games played, two goals, 10 assists for 12 points, and a plus 11. And then we have Michael McCarron with 20 games played, seven goals, two assists for nine points, and a plus one. Next. Um, next up, we have uh, Jared Tenorti. Uh, Jared Tenorti played 32 games, no goals, six assists, uh, six team points, and a plus 11. Lucas Craggs has 17 games. Uh, two goals, two assists, 14 points, and a plus one. Uh, Josh Healy played 24 with no goals, two assists, two team points, and a negative one. Uh, Joe Pendenza played nine games, no goals, one assist, one team point uh, at, oh, is that, at a zero. Uh, Adam Smith played two games. Uh, no stats. No Nothing stats. Uh, Scott Savage played two games with a negative one. No, was, was that, no stats of any kind. And uh, Arvin Atwell. Uh, Playing 12 games, nothing on the board, but gaining a plus one with, with 17, 17 pins. pins. All right, so in there we do have Ben Harper. He has yet to lace up as an admiral. I'm looking forward to seeing him play on Wednesday. All right, so for goaltending, we got two of the best in uh, the AHL right now. Connor Ingram with 30 games played with a 1.98 yes. goals against average and a, a .931 save percentage. He currently sits Beautiful. in the number three spot as the best goalie in the entire league. Yep. Um, and has the top save percentage in the entire league. Yep. yep. Um, then we have Troy Grosnick, who has 29 games played, a 2.19 goals against average, and a .923 save percentage. By the way, I'm I'm kind of curious if that three saves that he made in in that game the other day with the Troy Grosnick <laughs> game. Uh, I think that does count. The lose does, that lose kind, game. <laughs> does, does that kind of like co opt shutout for him count towards that goal yeah, against Yeah, I do believe. I, I yeah, do believe. I think so. <laughs> Technically, he had a shutout, too. Right. 
I don't know. But I don't know. The goose went loose that game. Yeah, you don't want to ruffle the goose's feathers. Nope. All right, so we're on another road trip here. We're getting, we're, we're, we're being sent to, uh, we're being sent to Mitchell Airport, guys. We're heading towards Tennessee. Yeah. I see Bridgestone Arena in the distance. We're going down it's to Smashville, beautiful. buddy. Eh, I'm I can't lazy. wait till next week. We'll actually be in Smashville. <laughs> I'm lazy. Oh, we're yeah. we're yeah. actually yeah. in Bridgestone. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Center ice. All right, who's next? Uh, let me. Uh, I'll take uh, the beginning part of the first once line. we get our uh, stats up there. Buff, 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 buff. All right, there we go, Nashville. <laughs> All right, we got Roman Yossi with uh, 61 games played, 14 goals, 43 assists for 57 points and a plus 21. Then we have Philip Forsberg, 55 games played. Daniel, can you please move the cursor with 18 goals, 24 assists. And he has a negative five. Do we have Matt Duchesne, 58 games played, 12 goals, 26 assists, and a negative four. We have Nick Benino, 59 games played, 17 goals, 17 assists, and a plus 19. Say something and, for being consistent there. Yeah, <laughs> and then we have Ryan Johansson, 61 games played, 13 goals, 21 assists with a negative three. Who's next? Uh, next up, we have Matthias Ekholm, who has 60 games played, 8 goals, 24 assists, 32 team points, and a plus 4. And the recently resigned Rocco Grimaldi, the Italian Grim Reaper himself, uh, with 58 games played, 10 assist, or excuse me, 10 goals, 20 assists, 30 team points, and a plus 12. Followed by Kelly Yarncruck with 56 games played, 12 goals, 17 assists, 29 games played, and a plus 2. 29 points. Jim. 29 points, excuse me. Uh, next up is Ryan Ellis with 41 games played, 6 goals, 23 assists, 2019 points, and a plus 17. And then lastly, we for number 10, we have uh, 61 games played, 17 goals, 11 assists, 2018 points, and a plus 20. Yeah. And he is also a former Badger. Speaking of former hey, Badgers, hey. we have Kyle Turris. He has 54 games played, 9 goals, 19 assists, 29 or 28 points. And at minus five, we have Mikhail Gradley with 55 games played, 15 goals, 11 assists, 26 points with a plus two. Victor Arvidsson, uh, 49 games played, 13 goals, 10 assists for 23 points and a minus one. We have Colton Sissons who has 49 games played, eight goals, six assists, 14 points with a minus one. Uh, Austin Watson with uh, 52 games played, six goals, eight assists, 14 points and a minus eight. Uh, Dante Favreau, who has uh, 56 games played, uh, 5 goals, 6 assists for 11 points and a minus 3. To be fair, he was lined up with Irwin. <laughs> um, so that kind of doesn't help him. Less said about that is better. All right. Um, so we have Dan Hamhues, who has 56 games played, 8 assists, no yeah. goals, yeah. and a plus 7. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Uh. You have uh, from here to about. There. All right. As long as I know where to start, we got Colin Blackwell, uh, who's no longer with the Admirals, but he had 23 games played, two goals, five assists, with plus nine. Or uh, uh, yeah, plus nine. Then we have Yakov Trenin, 17 games played, two goals, four assists, with a plus one. Uh, Jared Tenorti, 20 games played, a goal, and it's three assists and a plus three. Then we have uh, Yannick Weber, 40 games played, one goal, two assists, and a negative one. Who's next? Uh, next we have Matt Irwin, no longer with us. Can we get, I, I would like some stick taps if we had them, but okay. Uh, we're not trying to be mean, but anyway, let's get this over with. Best of luck on your future endeavors. Yeah, where is he with now? That's right, Blackwell's still at the team. He's just yeah, Blackwell's start. still at the team, but where's Irwin? He's not with us anymore. He got shipped off to the Ducks. Good luck. Whack, whack, whack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 27 games played, zero goals, two assists, two team points, and a negative eight out. Mika Salamaki, who is now currently with the Toronto organization, at five games played, one goal, zero assists, one team point, and a plus two. Daniel Carr with 11 games played, one goal, no assists, one team point, and a negative five. Matthew Olivier with eight games played, no goals, one assist, one team point, and a plus one. Anthony Richard with only one game played, nothing on the board, and a negative one. 
Uh, Steven Santini, two games played, nothing on the board with a plus one. Alexander Carrier, three games played, nothing on the board with a plus two. And Corbin and Holzer coming in after a trade. Goaltending, we've got UC Soros for 32 games with a 2.95 goals against average with a .904 save percentage. That's a lot better than it looked a month ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, we got Pecorine with 35 games played with a 3.00 goals against average and a 9.00 save percentage. <laughs> so he's getting peppered. Really? Soros is only .5 yeah. bad or GAA did not pepper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they're both dropping. They were both in the three plus a month ago, so, so they're dropping it. Thirty-five games played. That, for that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> they're both playing a lot better lately. Well, yeah. Well, now that their defense is actually not cramming them every second. Yeah. They had to put that big thing with the broom and then the garbage bags on the side so they can't <laughs> see right. through it. Oh, you know the the good old Goldberg technique? Just tie the was it tie your goalie to the net? Yeah. 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 Yeah, but. All right. So then finally. But last, the, uh, in the, po- system the actual in the system tab, we have our reserves. Ooh, I, I forgot my reservation for the show, Dan. Uh, so let's talk about that reserve right oh, there. Oh, 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 <laughs> yes, I love talking about this guy. So go ahead. You All righty. A lot of have that. All in. righty. Uh, we've got this awesome dude down in uh down in the OHL. His name. Philip Tomasino, January's Player of the Month. Uh, right now, he is. Uh, I, I, oh my goodness, I already lost track. In Oshawa, in Oshawa, he's recently playing with uh, 21 games played, uh, 17 goals, 22 assists, 39 team points, and a plus 11. Um, also, he played for the Niagara Ice Dogs, 36 games played, 22 goals. 35 assists. He has a total points of 96 right now, Ooh. averaging 1.68 points per game with a plus 11. Can we get him to Milwaukee already, please? <laughs> like, I don't care if it's only for five games. I want to see this guy suit up as an admiral to slay. All right, next, because he, he's going to do the same thing. Oh, yeah, with no doubt. Uh, next up, we have Yegor Afasana. Afanazena. Afan- Afanazena. Yeah, yeah, that too. Uh, he play, he's in the OHL with Windsor as well. Uh, 56 games played, 27 goals, 34 assists, 61 team points, and a plus 11. Uh, next up, we have Alexander Campbell, who has done a little bit of bouncing around through the USHL, AHL, and ECHL. Uh, nope, just the USHL. USHL, excuse me. Uh, currently, he is with the Omaha Lancers with uh, of the USHL with 41 games played, 17 goals, 29 assists, 46 game or 46 teams points, and uh, t- plus 12. And he had committed to Clarkson University for next season. Next. But we'll hopefully see him in Milwaukee. We might we might see him. All right. Next is uh, David Ferentz, if you want to take it. Uh, David Ferentz, he plays for Boston University of NCAA College Hockey. In 31 games played, he had 14 goals, 25 assists, and a plus minus of plus six. He also is averaging 1.26 points per game. Yes. Yeah. And then we have, uh, who is that, uh, Patrick Harper of this very same team, Boston University. He has 29 games played, 13 goals, 23 assists for a plus 13. He is also averaging 1.24 points per game. Jeez. Then we have uh, Yuso Parsonin, uh, 46 games played, 11 goals, 21 assists. He averages uh, 0.70 goals a game, and he has a plus 6. Um, he is currently playing for TPS, TPS and Liga. Liga. All right, so I kind of got to scroll a while here, apparently. Uh, All right, so we have Joachim Kondalik. Uh, he plays for the University of Connecticut. A big boy is he at six foot seven, um, and he has thirty one games played, eight goals, thirteen assists for twenty one points, and a plus five. Tell me, when he's in the faceoff circle, does he just leave a shadow? <laughs> I He's swear gone. it's like when they the, the the Mighty Ducks movie when they played Iceland for the first time and they <laughs> yes. just get knocked down. <laughs> They're bigger, stronger, and they got facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So then we got the, my favorite name in hockey. We got Grant Mishmash of the University of North Dakota, formerly the Fighting Sioux. Yeah. 
Um, 31 games played, 8 goals, 11 assists for 19 points and a plus 18. Not bad. Uh, then we have Simeon Chistikov. Uh, plays for... Topar Yufa? Nope. Uh, Omansky Yastrzemski. He has seven games played, one goal, seven assists for a 1.4 poor, 1.14 points per game and a plus six. Yeah. Then we have Spencer Statsny, the uh, Mequon native Ooh. of the University of Notre Dame. Uh, 31 games played, three goals, 14 assists for 17 points and a plus two. Next. All right. Next up, uh, we have Hardy Heyman Actel. So uh, six foot four of him. And which league is he in? Uh, all second league. All right, all second of the uh, was it Sweden league. Yeah, uh, he plays for IF Barcelona. Okay, uh, he's played forty two games there with five goals, nine assists, uh, fourteen team points, and a plus twenty one. Uh, next up, we have Isaac Walther uh, of the Super Elite uh, team, uh, Super Elite League of uh, Finland. Uh, Sweden. Sweden. Ah! I, I, Blonde women. I need my, <laughs> I need my Finnish goalies, dang it. Uh, 34 games played, 7 goals, 4 assists, 11 team points, and a negative 7. Eh. And uh, we got incoming Ben Harper. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot. I'm getting I'm getting my, I'm getting excited for Ben Harper. <laughs> uh, Mark Del Geizo, uh, UMass Amherst in the NCAA. 19 games played. <laughs> Two goals, nine assists, uh, 11 team points, and a plus eight. And we have a newcomer. I want to do uh, Ben Harper, too. Can I do Ben Harper? Go ahead and talk right. about the Marlies. Yeah, let's talk about Ben Harper. We got him incoming. We might see him Wednesday. Uh, he had 34 games played in the Toronto Marlies for uh, one one goal, 10 assists, with 11 team points and a plus nine. Um, that's all gar- barring that he has his green card. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, lastly, we have Vladislav Yermenko of the KHL with the Dynamo Minsk uh, with 51 games played, 3 goals, 7 assists, 10 team points, and a negative 21. Dynamo's kind of having a really shit yeah. year. Um, their goalies are not that good either. You know, we have uh, Milan Klucic of Klucic. the Motor Sisk. Oh, uh, Motor Sisk, yes, uh, Betuvic. Yep. On the Czech 2 League, he has 31 games played for 1.85 goals against average and a, what is that, a .925 save percentage. Then we have Konstantin Volkov of Yagura Kani Menska. On the VHL, he has uh, 30 games played, 2.44 goals against average and a .902 save percentage. All right, then we have Thomas Bamaka for the University of Connecticut with a 30 games played with a 3.17 goals against average and a .898 save percentage. Uh, University of Connecticut doesn't really have the best defense. They're known more for their firepower on offense. Mm-hmm. Um, then we have Nicholas Westerholm of Saipai Aliga. There's your finish goalie. Yeah, thank you, finally. Um, <laughs> he has a... 37 games played with a 2.89 goals against and a .892 save percentage. And then we have Ethan Hager. Of the, <laughs> of, the, of the Sioux City Musketeer, and he has 31 games played with a 3.12 goals against average and a .892 save percentage. Oh, by the way, just so you know, I won. Yeah. I, I kind of tricked you. Oh, you did. Mm. Westerholm's actually German. Uh, well, no, uh, mm, well, he's playing in a Finnish group, so I'm taking it. He's playing in Liga, I'm taking it. <laughs> You're finished by association. Actually, he is. Aha. Uh-huh. Apparently. I read somewhere that he was born in Germany, but... Mm. Be... Well, whatever the case may be, uh, yeah, we have a good... Uh... You got some good goalies in the fight. Yeah. Their save per- was it their save percentages are pretty like well intact. And as they get older, we're hoping that those uh goals against number goes down. Well, that's the thing. Goalies kind of age like baseball catchers. <laughs> Gracefully or crappily? It depends on how they develop. Well, there you go. It really does depend on how they develop because if they don't develop well, 
Um, and they bloom late, they're fine, but if they bloom early and then fall off, yeah. it kind of doesn't work well. It's like the anti Niemi syndrome. You oh. blossom too early, and then eventually everybody figures you out. And the wheels come off every day and day. All right, so beyond that, um, this has been been in the system. Oh, do we have to leave Bridgestone? Eh, me and Dan will be back there next week. But you're not taking it. <laughs> we <laughs> offer. <laughs> well, I have school. We have school. Yes, you have school. And a senior thesis. <laughs> yep. But luckily next for time. you, luckily for you, you can go to this wonderful place. Oh, I can go to Hockey Locker. <laughs> hockey Locker is a great place Tons to go to. They got some VR goggles so I can pretend that I'm at, at Bridgestone. <laughs> I love your puns. Oh. <laughs> Tons of great. Alrighty then. We're right. from Milwaukee to Nashville. Oh. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Watch our videos. Click the little bell to get notified. Like go us to on Hockey Facebook. Locker. Go to Hockey Locker, spend money, damn wrap it before you give yourself Oh, hold on, Larry Partner. We well, we, they also got to go check out another website. Yeah, we got to talk about our friends over at WASA, the Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Association. WASA is a really cool organization that uh, recently started up a couple years ago, if I understand. Uh, they do adaptive sports, yeah, four years ago, so still relatively new. Uh, adaptive sports program for kids, adults, and veterans alike. They do uh, uh, sled hockey that is sponsored by the Milwaukee Admirals themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, they do a handful of these uh, sports that are all funded through their nonprofit organization. And we figured that even though they're not sponsored by, by us, we give them a goodwill shout out. And uh, hopefully that our fans here will contribute anything that they can or at least spread the word about their Facebook page. Uh, they've got a really good Facebook page on their uh, uh, some of their members uh, come to Admirals games all the time. Uh, anytime they do a sled hockey exhibition, which we will be definitely trying next time. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately um, some bad circumstances happened and we couldn't partake. Right. But uh, definitely check out their website. That's at WASA.org. Uh, give them a shout out. They've got some really awesome individuals there. And uh, every, every contribution counts to uh, them funding their organizations as well. And all these... Uh, all these sports they got like how many how many wheelchair sports they have like six or eight different wheelchair sports events that they uh they fund themselves yeah, yeah. but yeah it's a really awesome organization uh fueled by really awesome individuals yeah i'm happy uh we're helping to get the word out about them because it's a really good organization yeah. so I'm, I'm happy we could lend our uh, helping hand out because you and know i think uh we're, we may even they have, need the support we yeah. even may have one of them on here in the future that would be nice. That would be nice. But uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So don't forget to support the uh, prayers system. Yeah. Um, nice remember, touch. Nice from touch. From Florida to Hollywood. Milwaukee to Nashville to the Stanley Cup. Yep. That's the goal of an AHL team. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ECHL team. Unless and you're the Chicago Wolves. Juniors, NHL team. Unless and, you're Chicago. And unless you're the Chicago Wolves. Yeah. You, you or just, Grand Rapids. There's just a buffer right there. It's like called a cup. All right. <laughs> stop it. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>